Hey guys, Michelle here from Michelle's Party Planet again with another fun tutorial for Halloween. Today I'm sharing how you can make a spooky three-dimensional um, piece of artwork for your wall for the Halloween time using mostly Dollar Tree or Dollar Store products. So let's get started. To start, I'm going to use a um, canvas. I have this large canvas that I had just in my um, craft supplies. This isn't from the dollar store, but if you can find one for a good price, I suggest grab them. And then I have these cheesecloths that I found at the dollar store. Um, they're pretty good size. I don't know if I'm going to need all three of them, but I got three for this project. project. And I found this little decoration which is already a picture frame what attracted me to it was this skull shape so this is going to be the mold for our project and then i grabbed some heavy starch i have my scissors a paintbrush and some petroleum jelly so i think this is all you're going to need plus a frame um because i think i'm going to frame this you could use a frame as well or you could just hang it as is so we'll see how it turns out so this is doubled I'm thinking fourths so I'm gonna cut it in half and then half again and that is gonna give it quite a good layer that's already four pieces of cheesecloth I may not need these we'll see how far we get there we go okay so first step is now that we have the fabric trimmed to size. I'm going to use petroleum jelly and the reason why I'm using petroleum jelly is because I don't want my starch to actually stick to this form. I want it to be able to come right off. Now I'm going to get the first layer of cheesecloth. I think it's also called creepy cloth, but it looks basically like a gauze. I want it to cover the whole canvas because the canvas is part of the project. It looks like I might have two layers on here. Actually, it might. I might have two on there already. We'll just go with it. What you want to do is basically put the cheesecloth into the form of the skull. Make sure you get all the indentations in there. Shake this stuff up real good. It's just heavy duty starch. You want to get the whole cloth. And while it's wet, push it in. Make sure it gets the shape of the of the form We'll do one more for good measure. Okay, well, it's been a f little bit and the starch isn't drying as hard as I'd like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some Mod Podge. It's just the matte finish um, formula of the Mod Podge because I think this will work better and will actually be harder once it dries than the starch. So 
So I'm gonna let that dry. So it looks pretty cool. You can see the dimension. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. If you look at the side, you can see his teeth. I think the dimension's actually more defined using the Mod Podge. So we'll see. Um, I've been letting this thing dry outside for quite a while. And I, it's not 100% dry, but it is dry to the touch. And the layers underneath, there still have some goopy um, Mod Podge under there. But before it dries any further, I wanted to go ahead and take it off because I'm just afraid that it's gonna get stuck to it. So let's give it a shot. Oh, it's actually coming off pretty easily. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and stretch out all the layers and make sure that your image is centered as much as possible and then just tack them down to each other and around the back. all the edges in and you have a nice clean frame you can either leave it as is and just put it on your wall or you can put a frame around it and that's it pop it into your favorite frame hang it up on your wall and there you go super cool creepy framed art looks like it's popping out of your wall so I hope you like this project um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of these kind of projects, um, not just for Halloween, but all year round, let me know. So thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.